Hey YouTube, Brad C here. I was looking at Craigslist for some barrels and I came across this. This is actually a civil defense survival supply and uh, you've probably seen some of things like this online. Today we're going to open up this barrel and we're going to see what's inside. And probably nothing to be honest other than air from 1964 when this thing was, was sealed. But if you've ever seen these, these came with a kit and the kit had a actual commode seat that went on this. By the way, this was to store water. It held 17 and a half gallons and then after you're finished with the water then you had a liner that went in here and then you had also had a commode seat that goes on top of it and that commode seat now becomes your toilet and you've got a, uh, a water fill line and then you've got a sanitary fill line that's where he's supposed to you know clean up your your fill so I've seen a lot of these have toilet paper and all kinds of stuff inside of them but they were most likely stored that way from the kit it sounds like there may be something in there but it seems to be probably empty but we're gonna unseal this and see what's inside at least we'll get a maybe smell some air from 1964 I found this on Craigslist for 20 bucks that's a heck of a deal about the best price I've ever seen is $40 local pickup and if you get that, that's a good deal. There's actually somebody right now that's got one on eBay for $125. That's highway robbery, but somebody will probably end up paying it. But if you find one of these, you should snag them up, and they're a piece of history. All right, let's, let's make history. All right, let's see if we can open this baby up. Start no boom. Aha! Ooh boy. It didn't smell bad at all. It's a little different smell to it. Ooh. Nothing inside there. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't know what this strip is, but I see this on, on all the, the ones I've seen before. In a dream world, something cool would have been in here. You know, when I saw it on Craigslist, I thought, man, if they got that commode seat and all that stuff inside, that'd be awesome. But, hey, for 20 bucks, I'll take a trash can. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be honest. Probably just store some things. And the bottom of the barrel reads US 26-17.5-63. And I'm assuming that's, uh, uh, I don't know what the 26 is, 17.5 gallons of water, 1963. I think these were sealed in 1964, so. Yeah, I'll just show you what it says here. Survival supplies furnished by the Office of Civil Defense, Department of Defense. Drinking water, 17 and a half gallon. To fill, and it gives you your fill instructions. And there, to dispense, gives those. And to reuse as a commode. It's in good condition. I mean, you see a little bit of denting and a little bit of this minor rust on the lid. But nothing that, uh, nothing that wouldn't clean up pretty easy. And the barrel itself isn't just in great condition. I took that piece off there and daggone if that didn't cause a lot of problems inside there. Yeah, that, that piece of paper that was stripped to this, it um, when I pulled it off, it, it, you could see where it must have uh, collected moisture and caused this thing to have some rust spots. But nothing major, nothing all the way through or anything. It could still easily be used as a nice little trash can or a nice little storage container. Might even take us up to the bug out cabin just to have to store supplies in inside the cabin. I'm not going to bury it or anything. I don't want it to further rust up. This is uh, it's a piece of history. If I could buy them for $20 each, I'd scoop them up because I could turn right around and flip these things for probably 75 bucks each, I guarantee you. You can milk out of somebody on eBay. Somebody's trying to milk out $125 right now. You could easily get $50 to $75. But people that sold this were real nice folks. They weren't really trying to, obviously, weren't trying to rip me off. That, that $20 is a heck of a deal on these. Said she had two of them. I wish I'd have got both. I sold the other one and paid for my, my little haul here. But it is what it is. No complaints. If you're wondering what that is, uh, that's not my couch. I don't have a camouflage couch. That's a Hennessy Hammock Rainfly that I tested out just recently. And it, it passed the test. Took a bunch of stuff back to the to the cabin and test it out. One thing was this Hennessy hammock with the rain fly. This is a survivor edition and uh, it did rain and that's why I'm letting it dry out here but the other side is dry as can be. So rain fly worked well. Also took a trucker's friend back. You can see I worked it over good. I'm gonna have to clean it up. It'll, it'll clean up easy but and this thing it was a beast. Okay thanks for stopping in and checking out what's inside these barrels. Looks like basically nothing but Keep in mind that there's a kit that comes with these that could be inside of a barrel if you happen to find one. So make sure you do check. 
because there could be a kit inside. Now if it's sealed like this one, most likely it's not going to be in there obviously. But you never know. I'm an optimist. I always think you know, you're going to open it up and it's going to be a gold mine inside. You know? <laughs> Even though I could feel the thing was empty, I kept thinking, man, what if everything was in there just packed really tight and it's super light? Yeah, that's, that's just how I think. So, all right, it is what it is. And you can check everything out at bradctv.com.